What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about the future. Uh, we're, I got a crystal ball here. Let's talk about the future. What is PlayStation and Xbox next move? Really? Uh, I'm really interested in, in knowing what PlayStation and Xbox are going to be doing. I think the PlayStation 4 Pro uh, is definitely not Sony's move against the Xbox One Scorpio. I think that PlayStation 5 is going to come out or at least be announced sometime next year. I know people say, Beastly, that's crazy. I've been crazy before, and a lot of my predictions have been 100% right. You know, I'm not, I don't have a 100% accuracy rate, but a lot of the things I say come true against waves and torrents of people shouting me down saying it's not possible. Uh, the, the home console space is something that's owned by Sony. It's something that they are really, really holding on to. It's Sony's number one way of making money, and I seriously doubt that they're going to just hand over that crown to the Xbox Scorpio, knowing that the Scorpio is that much more powerful than the PlayStation 4 Pro. I just, hold on to your butts. I think that next year is gonna be a big year. For holiday 2017, I'm thinking probably sometime around October, Sony's going to announce the PlayStation 5, the truly next generation PlayStation system. And if you wanna play PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro, you still can, and the PlayStation 5 will be backwards compatible. I think that's just gonna happen. But let's talk about sales. Of course, Xbox does not really reveal how many Xbox Ones they've sold. They stopped doing it. They got punched into a corner by PlayStation, and they said, hey, we're not going to talk about sales anymore, because when we talk about sales, we feel bad. And they really shouldn't feel bad, because the Xbox One has outsold the Xbox 360 handedly. Xbox One is selling phenomenally well. A lot of people can't see that because of this generation's competition, which just happens to be the PlayStation 4, which is selling like gangbusters, selling better than almost any system of all time. So, last I heard, PlayStation 4 was north of 40 million consoles sold. That was a few months ago. I, if I had to guess, I would say, just being conservative, the PlayStation 4 has sold about 46 million units. Xbox, I would give them 28 being conservative that might be actually that actually might be giving them sales to be totally honest because uh, from what we've seen from what we've heard in the past the Xbox is about half of the PlayStation 4 sales so I'll say 25 million and 45 million that's what I'll say uh, as as we speak now of course it's going to change over the holiday it's going to change next year but EA the major corporation has predicted what they believe Xbox and PlayStation sales will be compounded by the end of next year. I found it entertaining, and I will drop a link in the description. EA talks PS4 Pro and Xbox Scorpio. They also predict 100 million PlayStation 4 and Xbox One sales combined by the end of the year 2017. During Electronic Arts financial conference call related to the quarter ended on September 30th, CEO Andrew Wilson and CFO Blake Jorgensen talked about Electronic Arts' stance on the upcoming new consoles like the PlayStation 4 Pro and Project Scorpio. Wilson started by mentioning that Electronic Arts believes that the new consoles will add to the player value proposition. Quote, The audience for high-quality games on HD consoles and PCs continues to expand. We believe the new console options will add depth to the hardware cycle, growing installed base, and to the player value proposition. The power of our Frostbite engine enables us to scour the platform's capabilities to deliver the experiences our players want. From the groundbreaking gameplay of Battlefield 1 and FIFA 2017 to Mass Effect Andromeda in stunning 4K, to extraordinary new VR experiences from our lab teams across the spectrum of high-end and low-end devices, we're pushing the boundaries in a multi-platform world." End quote. Jorgensen also added that the company is, quote, extremely excited, end quote, about them, and that the gameplay quality is fantastic. Quote, about the new consoles, it's a little early for us to know what the big impact will be of the new PlayStation and Xbox models. We're extremely excited about them. The gameplay quality is obviously fantastic. We think the consumer experience is going to be great on both of those consoles, end quote. He concluded that the company predicts 80 million units combined for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One models by the end of the calendar year 2016, and 100 million units by the end of next year. So, 80 million units by the end of this year. So they're predicting, I would say, 55 million PlayStation 4 sold, and 20, I would say, no, I'll say 50 million PlayStation 4 sold, and 30 million Xbox Ones. I don't know if I agree with that. I honestly, eh, no, I don't, because I think right now, 
uh, PlayStation is probably north of 40 and probably south of 50, uh, probably around 46 million. So, I mean, the holiday season's up on us now. Black Friday, you know, November, Christmas, people are going to be buying PlayStation 4s and Xbox Ones like crazy. And only 20 million more next year? Who knows? I think PlayStation 4 Pro is going to probably do crack that by itself possibly next year. And the Xbox Scorpio at the end of the year is going to be a big deal. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you guys think it's possible that the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One will crack 80 million units by the end of the calendar year, 2016? Uh, and do you think that only 20 million units sold next year is a reasonable assumption that saturation will be set in by January and people will stop buying these consoles? Of course we're going to reach a saturation point. That's definitely going to happen. But the funny thing is, the crazy thing is, these things are still selling like hotcakes. People are still buying them like, like crazy. Just like people are being born and they're going to the store and buying Playstations and buying Xboxes. It's just insane. To me, the most mind-boggling thing is this. There are pundits in the gaming community, there are analysts out there who said that console gaming was dead. And those people need to lose their jobs. Totally honest. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up to show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and check out BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey,